I can't hurry up, hurry up and put that in your ear. Let's get this. All right, there you go. I'll cover it. I'll cover it. I'll slow as he takes a of libation. Okay, it's can Valentine's you hear me? Valentine's Day. You say what? It's Valentine's Day. You got to get a little drink. Listen, <laughs> I, I, I ain't never had one. Bah humbug to everybody that has a Valentine's. I and, just can't and that's why I that. came on late because I wanted to interrupt y'all from getting some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you telling me you ain't never had a Valentine? I got in college, yes. Okay. In All college, right. Right. yes. And one year, I got a lot of stuff. And I actually got, and I kept them for a long, long time. I got those some dyed black roses. Oh, those that are was nice. like really with, um, with little little white collars and bow ties on oh, each wow. stem. They that was, was some money. They were hot. I kept them for a long time. What's up, boy? Nothing much. Nothing much. I missed you last night. I actually fell asleep. Did you? Oh, I was, my God. I was, well, I, you know, I, I was wondering. I said he was on, and then he disappeared. I, and I was like, not I, said, I was I was wondering. Uh, I was wondering what uh, what went down. So that's what it was. You yeah. you turned in early. I was gone. I was listening to you, but I was like, I was gone. I was gone. Knocked out. Yeah. See yeah. there. I got to I got to keep it more juicy then, so I can't <laughs> no, hear no, you. No, no. I was sleepy. I was just tired. Yeah, long yeah. day. Yeah. And then it was Monday, and then it was you know mm -hmm. had been Super Bowl yeah. and all of that. So it was a long night. Well, what you think about, you know, I've been trying to deal with church polity tonight. Hey, Teresa. Um, it's funny how they don't want you to mention anything. Get real. Get real. I mean, they want to do everything and push everything, sweep everything under the rug. Right. You know? Huh? Uh, can you, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna, let me get my earpiece. No, I can hear. You, I I can hear, but I was just turning oh, okay. it up a little bit. Yeah, but they you know, they it, they you know the I don't know it 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 gets it gets personal and it gets messy. But see, this this situation is bad because this guy was already thrown a Kojic curve mm. three years ago. Mm. See, he really, he really should have nine times out of ten been the bishop. What based upon the polling, he right. should have really been the bishop three years ago. Mm -hmm. But then the the this auxiliary, he's now an auxiliary bishop, and that was somewhat the reward for him to throw the vote. Mm. Because once he entered the race, he pulled votes from all of the men that was running. And then when he knew that he was going to lose, you know, then he talked to his... And, and, and basically how it happens. This is basically how it happens. Generally, when a bishop dies, generally... A superintendent, you know, is going to pretty much carry right. their district. Right. Mm -hmm. So, in essence, this superintendent, you know, I'm going to run me and my men. Mm -hmm. When I say my men, I'm talking about the men that is in his district. You vote for me. 
if I lose, then I'm going to make the recommendation for y'all to throw your support behind this particular person that I'm supporting. Right. So that was the play. And that knocked Taylor out, gave the majority to Claude. Mm. And that's how he wound up being the bishop. Mm -hmm. and, and so, but so this time, my sources are telling me this time Taylor ain't taking no, he ain't taking no he going Nichols this time. For the, uh, the he judge, he right? yeah. is, he's going for it. And, uh, but the word is that the presiding bishop and perhaps uh, that he, he I don't want to say that they don't like him. They don't necessarily have a connection or a relationship. Then it ain't going to work out for him. Um, I think it's too many men that's in support of him. Hmm. You know, because it it it, it it, it it just comes down. See the see the problem is Gilbert entered this whole polling thing. You you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? He entered right. something into the operation of the church that's not constitutional that everybody mm -hmm. thinks is a quote unquote rule and or a not. mandate, yeah. and it's not. You know what I'm saying? So, and then when you have had, you know, Blake and now Sheer still following that that level of press. See, you know, Bishop Bishop Owens, Bishop Ford, they would just go in and say, "Okay, St. James is going to be the next bishop," and that was it. That was it. Which, yeah. which I think is a better situation mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. now you get these men that poll and you know it can be neck and neck and then you have a situation like you had here in Central Georgia where you know the majority of the men went behind uh, Norman Odell Harper but then Hogan felt like oh well I still want to be Bishop anyway so then you split yeah yeah and then you have one strong jurisdiction, you know, mm -hmm. get, you know, made sort of a mediocre. And then you got, you know, a Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck's jurisdiction <laughs> that has popped up. And then now you have, you know, all of these additional bishops and, and, and these additional jurisdictions. And the only thing, the only benefit of it is the more juris and 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 so that's where jurisdictions and bishops have almost become quote unquote fundraisers for the church. That's because all it that's is. a five it yeah because that's a five thousand dollar report right to increase right. to the revenue and right. you know so either way you look at it it's like a win if you're one of the top men if you're the presiding bishop or on the general board. You know, it's kind of looked at like either way, a win-win. And it's sad, but you know, positions equal more money. So <laughs> revenue, <laughs> revenue, revenue, that's all because now about. you got a new bishop mm -hmm. that's got to bring mm -hmm. in his five thousand dollar report right. annually, and then that bishop is going to have a female counterpart, which is a supervisor. Right. She's going to have to bring her 2500 3000 mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here it is. You almost got another, you know, instead of, you know, 100 people bringing in that, now you have, you know, 200 250 right. It's crazy. But mm -hmm. I... So it's going to be interesting because... Now, this is the one thing that I can say. Uh, he stands firm on his convictions. Mm -hmm. Drew does. Yeah. And he, 
he don't back down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you believe, know, you I know just like, okay, believe. just like how everybody talks about Gary Sprewell not being a pastor, being, yeah. you know, made over um, a national department, right. evangelism, um, then was only a pastor for about three months. Mm -hmm. You know, he tried to intervene that. Mm -hmm. Bishop Wright stood his ground and said, hey, you know, <laughs> he got to go. Hit the road. Jack. Where's he at now? What's he doing? Just traveling and preaching? Um, to my, yeah, he's back living in Houston and, you know, just being an evangelist and prophet to, oh, you know, man. to my understanding, because I don't know of any other church that, you know, and then that's going to be kind of challenging. And, but you know? you know what? He was appointed by um, Sheard, right? No, no? actually, right. Uh, uh, okay, well, as the, as the story goes, they really... Bishop James Wright really wanted uh, Micaiah Young mm. because he was he grew up and was reared in that church. Mm. However, the 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 word that I got what he wanted by way of compensation package exceeded the ability of that church. Mm. And so that was so the the second the the BC option <laughs> was to <laughs> the was <D>. to go <laughs> with um with um Gary Sprewell. Yeah. Which I never thought was gonna really work because Sprewell is rather young mm -hmm. and Bishop Wright's church is an older church yeah. with older yeah, people. Yeah. And so, you know, that prophesying and pulling on money every week is only going to go so that. far. They yeah, don't like it's that. only going to go yeah. so far with them. And so I just thought that that was interesting and, you know, such as life as I generally am. <laughs> I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> Bishop but always believe... said that the Lord has given me uh, that I was wise beyond my years, and He had given me an unusual uh, wisdom about uh, uh, about the church. Yeah, that's what He you're, always told you're, me. You're definitely a Kojic historian. Y'all nope. think so? I just, oh, yeah. I, you know what? Oh, I yeah. just. You, you know, I, I just know the ins and outs. And I, I'm surprised at how many people, and not just, you know, this even happens, this even happens with our alumni meeting with, 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 uh, for Morehouse. I'm surprised mm -hmm. at how many people are really like a part of organizations and don't, don't know the rules. No, nothing. They don't, yeah. You know, well, they, and, and, yeah. you know, because I had a, I was on the phone tonight about this situation, arguing down <laughs> with the pastor. Now, this is a man, I ain't no pastor. Yeah, this man yeah. was a pastor. In the Church of God in Christ. Huh? In the Church of God yeah. in Christ, right now, there's go preach to probably Bible study tomorrow. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. arguing me down saying well you know you got to be an auxiliary bishop or a foreign bishop before you can be a jurist made a jurist I was like fool have no, you, you lost don't. your mind totally wrong arguing me down then finally mm -hmm. I was like okay let's get one of our senior fathers on the line and I three weighed them yeah. in and yeah. you know pop schooled them so I don't know I, 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 I don't know how do y'all do it over there in PAW what do they well, do well if I can remember I'm not really in the PAW anymore I mean y'all don't go to a PAW church but ran totally different from okay it's definitely independent the churches are totally independent the bishops are it's my knowledge they're not elected like they're appointed 
by but don't y'all have like a general board too we do have a general board and see we we're the ones who created well bishop mcmurray created suffragan bishops and they're kind of like your auxiliary bishops right but they call them they want bishops y'all y'all want them to <laughs> suffer suffer <laughs> yes <laughs> and that's what we used to call them suffering bishops <laughs> right because it was like they threw them a bone you know they threw them a bone um to get them out their hair and uh but like if someone a bishop dies it's generally i don't know if the board picks them or just the presiding bishop picks okay Okay, which I think Mac is better. Yeah, I think it's better for the presiding bishop to just pick, put this person in, because the yeah. thing about it is, if they try to split, and the presiding bishop doesn't approve it, then you know right. you ain't really got. But you know they didn't want people to. Um, you know, really lose or leave the church, right. you know, get it, well, see, and if they that goes man. by In PAW, it really goes by seniority, though. Like when Bishop McMurray died, he was over the California, Nevada, Hawaii uh, uh, states. But when he died, Bishop Johnson, my pastor, my ex-pastor here, became over those. Okay. Because he was like, he was bishop over like Pacific Northwest at the time. Okay. So it went it went according to seniority, pretty much in the pay. Dust. Who's your presiding bishop now? What is his name? Is it, is it the Brooks? Dennis from Chicago? Brooks. I think he's out of Indianapolis. I think. But it was a dentist. He was a dentist, right? Oh, he's he was the that was way that's a uh, Horace Shepherd. Okay, he was. That's, that that was, was my you, friend. Yeah, that, that was, was before Charles Ellis. Oh, okay. So he was before. Right. Y'all did have Charles. Charles Ellis. He was did presiding. nothing with the organization, mm -hmm. did he? <laughs> From what I can see, he kind of made it look like they, like at the convention, it looked like they were more advanced than they were, you know, kind of like technology wise. But I don't know if they he really. Just this was running around with that Hermes belt on and, <laughs> and flying in the. In airplanes and stuff right with the gay <laughs> stylist right yeah but yeah see, he, was, he was no his father he was no david ellis he's no see that but now david it was something that went down his first term because i remember i was getting them letters and i did that story i know it you was, know he was on preachers of detroit well, we, know that that okay. was a that was a total just <laughs> debacle that was just a disaster but it was mm. something that happened before he went on preachers mm. and it was another bishop that i think was either running and they were telling me they, they i Oh, we had all these letters i can't remember i've yeah. done so many stories i can't remember what happened yeah but uh oh wow so and then when is it? When is y'all's convention? Because we don't even hear. It's like y'all so like insignificant. August. August. Oh, <laughs> it's because it just doesn't matter. It doesn't they really don't, count. They don't look exciting when I see online. They don't look exciting anymore like they used to be. Yeah, I mean it's you know. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna go to a house of prayer convention. Oh. What, uh, Daddy Bailey? <laughs> I want to go. I want to go too. I I want to go. I want to go to and just Bailey experience even. it <laughs> from what you know. What I say like I think everybody should do something at least once in their life. I want to go to a house of prayer meeting. Yeah, at least once. Now I've been to their church. You've been to the church. Or, church? I've been to a house of prayer church. Yeah. Do they have one in Atlanta? Yes, in they have one that is gorgeous mm. that we watched built mm. from the ground up. Oh, wow. And it's wow. absolutely um, it's beautiful. Mm. It's a beautiful building. Um, it's amazing to sit there and watch those services online. 
It, it's Look, crazy. To I be told like I love <laughs> Sweet Daddy Grace. I would tell you. And you know, people are talking about, oh, that's a cult leader. Let me tell you something. These Negroes can't get a million people to do nothing. And we got social media and technology. Right. I don't care what he was. For him in the 40s to have four million people following him, like who does that? And, and only how? How did I they mean, communicate how, in the 40s? Right. <laughs> And yeah. all of them come together and he said it. And see, I like I like those preachers that can control their members, <laughs> as you can, oh, you can tell. You know, <laughs> clap your hands, clap your hands right now. You know, and everybody clap. Stop clapping and I, right and see, now. I Sit down. Shut up. In my, in my like early that. years, that's all I was under. Right. They was controlling past. That's it. They ran your house yep, from yep. that pool pit. In your bed. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> And so, I mean, but, you know, I they say this, they say that, they say it was a cult, they say they take Jesus out and put the, the you know, the folks. Now, now, when I go over on Cleveland, I haven't heard them say or reference daddy. I haven't heard that. Okay, okay. But what reference? They, you know, they be talking about the Lord and, okay. and Jesus. Now they only um, have their the services horns, are right? long. They only have the horns. No, right. They piano. don't do and that snare and the snare. Okay, they have the horns and and the uh, snare. And somebody was explaining to me uh, something about how that came about. Back in the day, with um, with uh, Sweet Danny, and he really liked it. Well, he and that only was... he used to be outside preaching. Maybe uh -huh. that was when they had horns. That that's the only thing they had outside because he, he used to preach like in the middle with everybody around him. Him, right? Yeah, and he was around. But it was something they said where he was somewhere. And they had the horns, and that he just fell in love with that, oh, or whatever. Okay. And then that just kind of said, I can't remember who, uh, uh, you know, sent sent me something. I guess because once I posted it, and then a lot of people, you know, once I post something, it yeah. gets a lot of attention. And so, you know, it was um, somebody I don't know. Somebody inboxed oh, me. Okay. And said something like that. But I just, I, I don't know. I just think I really like those charismatic, like, uh, 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 Sweet Daddy Grace, Father Divine, um, King, King Louis H. Norses. Yeah, that's what somebody um, just put in the chat. Similar to King Norses. Yes. Uh, Jelani. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, King now King Narcissus was phenomenal. Now you know his at, at, at King Narcissus's church, you wasn't brother and sister, you were prince and princess oh, 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 and oh, oh, Dutch oh, oh, and <laughs> Duchess and Duke and Duke. <laughs> you, I just ugh, and I just love see I love I, you know and I like regalia and all that. I just <laughs> and then them crowds and cakes. Right. Now, when, but, now at his at Sweet Daddy, uh, I mean at King Norris's funeral, his his funeral was in Oakland, at the Henry J. Kaiser Convention mm, Center, mm. and he was in full white, and the so he had cowboy. He used to wear a lot of cowboy boots, and the soles. Now we ain't talking about Christian Louboutin, right? We're talking about the soles of his boots were real diamonds. Wow. And he was in a wow. full couch. Mm. And he would he would wave his hand and say stand up <laughs> and then wave his hand and they sit down. <laughs> I love it. But I you love know the it. funny part about that? We we call them cults because of the notoriety and how large they are. 
But you, these these churches are cults. They just ain't got no members in them. They ain't got no <laughs> members. That's all. And they ain't got no control. No. Yeah. And they not. Yeah. And they don't have the. Um, they don't. These men don't have the charisma to make people want to follow and obey right. them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like those men, it it was something about them that you you it it, it made you respect them mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. made you want mm -hmm. even people that wasn't in their organizations or their members. Right. But uh, sweet daddy Grace, Father Divine, King Narcissus, um, um, oh my God, Reverend Ike, Reverend Ike. Yeah, very nice. I, 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 I just, I love them. I, I really do. I re else. And I, I don't know. I just kind of, um, I just kind of find it fascinating. It is. You know, I just, I, I really, but I, I, you know, uh, outside of Church of God in Christ, I mean, um, you had him. They said James. Then you had Jones. Barner. Barner start started um, Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the I Apostolic. I love to watch Barner. Uh, <laughs> listen, <laughs> praise yeah. the name of our Lord. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to love to watch Barner. I'll, Sunday night. Yep. I yep. would rush home to watch him on BET. I. I, and I've been to his services. Oh, okay. And they said they told me they told me when uh, one time. And everybody that's always said, "Oh, this person ain't gonna like you. They ain't gonna interview." You. I was right there with Reverend Bond. Mm -hmm. I was right right there up on him. He took pictures. He let me interview him. Mm -hmm. Everything. And the folks in the organization was. I mean, you know, God has always favored me like that. Oh, but yeah. I um. I don't know. I just, I, that is so fascinating. Like even uh, talking to Zenona and talking about the civil rights movement and actually sending telegrams and, you know, her talking about, you know, having a typewriter mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I, I mean, I, okay, let's look at it like this. How in the hell did, did they pull off the march on Washington? Right. They didn't have no yeah. text message. They didn't have no cell phone. We're talking about, you know, in the 60s. A, you know a, what I'm saying? A lot, a lot How do you work. get almost yeah. that a million people? Yeah. It, they were doing more back then with less. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, come on. The only other time we've had a million men or a million people at the mall on in Washington D.C. was the Million Man March with Farrakhan. <laughs> yep, yep. Al Al Sharpton couldn't do it. No. And and you got technology. I got me a final call here. Some man gave me the other day. Oh, praise <laughs> the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I, you know, I just, I just, I just believe that one day Farrakhan will get the Holy the Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Because he's it's anointed me, to do what I'm he does. I'm telling you, I would be at his, at his mosque <laughs> or at his church. I'm serious. I absolutely, I when love When I went to Chicago, I saw the mosque and I, I wanted to go in there. Why you didn't I, go? Isn't I it gorgeous? Going. <laughs> I wanted to go in there, though. He, th that was somebody else that they said, oh, he ain't going to do nothing. He said, oh, this is my beautiful son. <laughs> and I, and he embraced me. And I went, I went the minister. And, you know, they block everything right, off right, of him. Right, you right. know. And I met the minister, and he said, oh, have a seat and, and sit down. You know, and mm -hmm. I had to give me a, a, and I was fat <laughs> then, so I was, like, ordering some of everything. <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and, and they was like, how is he with the minister? You know, yeah. I was, I did, yeah, so, yeah, I like all of that. 
I really do. But this is going to be, this is going to be, you know, this, this is going to be an interesting time for him because he is, uh, we're up on voting next year. Mm, yeah. And and so some of these decisions and how he moves may I think I think we got another Trumpster, a one term. Ooh. <laughs> but I don't I mean you gotta do more than shout. Well, they going to shout now. I do more than that. I see. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Now, I know that, that we supposedly had a, uh, a heavy loan that was an interest-only loan that Bishop Blake took out. And to my understanding, either either Drew raised the money and paid that loan off or it's pretty close mm. to being paid off. Um, well, that might be a That's saving a grace. feather in his cap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, some people like the little statue of Mason in front of Mason Temple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but I mean, his body is already in there. So yeah. I don't really yeah. know why we needed to do... So I don't know. I don't know. It's it's I it you know, he moved it's going to be back to cuz you know we are talking about 56 or 57. You know, it was it was it wasn't a whole it wasn't no landslide. Right. Well, it wasn't I, no I land, mean and, if, if and, we want to be <clears throat> and Jerry Wayne Macklin did not campaign. Right, but he if, said he was going to let the Lord <clears throat> decide who was going to be the presiding bishop. So if he would have yeah. at least if he would have put out one flyer, it would have been over. Because I think if he would have contested, he probably would have got half the votes. They just let it go. I you know, see he set such a uh let's let the Lord, you know, yeah. so he kind of created a situation that made it impossible for him to do any of that because he said, yeah. I'm not campaigning. Right. I'm going to allow the Lord That's to true. decide. And so once so he you couldn't come say back that, say, well, the Lord did decide. Right. He you know, so how do you can say recount, recount. No, you can't, you, <laughs> you know, but, the, and then also, also, that could be a strategy for this next time. Yeah, you yeah. know. So it's gonna. I I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. He's really done a lot in Hayward. I, I you know. He sure has. Next to next to Bishop Blake, right? He's, you know right. that whole Tennyson corridor. You know, he's he's done a lot. So it's gonna be interesting. I it told is, you it, that I, I always uh, said Macklin was my was was my bishop. Now, the only thing about him is Bishop Macklin is traditional. He is. He is. Yeah. Now, he's old time. <laughs> he ain't going to have these, you know, he's old time sanctified. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, it's, and, and, but now there's a flip side to that because I've, really think that we didn't got too loose mm -hmm. and then somebody needs to come in with some structure you know like Bring it was it this in. pastor that uh was was mentioning you know saying something about me and uh well not nothing negative but you know making comments about the post and about the story about mm -hmm. um, robert taylor so I, you know, after one or two comments, I decided I just clicked on his page. Uh -huh. First thing pops up, you ain't got no shirt on in the pool with your wife. You know, okay. now I know today yeah. is Valentine's Day. Right, right, right. But now, 
you got dreadlocks mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you on Facebook with no shirt on. But, I need you to sit down. I need so you don't to go sit down, shut about, up, and be yeah. quiet. Yeah. Right. Because <laughs> you don't even have basic sense on right. what's appropriate and how to behave. And then you got pictures of y'all cuddled up. Then, let me tell you this. Do you know that they have pictures of him and his wife go, doing the peace sign with their tongue? <laughs> so, I, baby, I wouldn't follow you across the street. <laughs> and he's telling me, he said, well, I think somebody trying to start something. Well, what are you starting? What are you what doing? Are you yeah, yeah, what do you have going? So, <laughs> okay, so we didn't get a chance to talk about it. So, what what do you have to say about this Rihanna horrible performance? It was horrible, and I understand she was pregnant, but I'm sorry. I'll I'll I'm gonna stand on my convictions. There that you was, go. That stand was one firm. of the most horrible. E even the weekend was better than her. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just instead of it, it, it's just better to decline. Sometimes it's just better to say, you know what, I'm not prepared, I'm not ready. Um, I well, the word the on the street was that she had tried to back out, and they would they were like, no, we're we have to go with it. That was the word. So I'm not sure. Maybe she found out she was pregnant, but. They say she, she looked about six months, huh? Because <coughs> he's a she looked girl. like Papa Dinosaur, Mama Dinosaur. I mean, it was just <laughs> you know. And then, and see, she she is such a winch <laughs> that <laughs> she didn't even invite somebody Get no else collab. because she didn't want to be upstage. No, and she knew for whatever reason, that she wasn't going to be able to dance or yeah. she wasn't going to be able to... But do you know how many features that girl has had with people? She could have invited... She should have she invited Chris She was Chris selfish. Brown. I'm telling you, dude. She was selfish yeah. and she did not want to be upstaged. So she... Re she could She could have even had that horrible guy that's pumping her full of cum to have these <laughs> bastard <laughs> children. She could have had him right. come on the stage with her. She didn't even have him. Like, she really let us see and know who she really is. Yeah. yeah. Her her collab was that makeup. Yeah. yeah. And then they I said mean, and then she didn't even they could have come up and surrounded her she could have dropped down she and could've... came up in another costume, another <clears throat> fabulous outfit. She did. I mean, she didn't give us nothing. She was a she was an air air traffic controller. She only moved her arms. <laughs> you know, she. <laughs> and then, and why was her titty so saggy? Why she well, didn't have pretty, like William? <laughs> oh, like, they're getting ready. <laughs> Look, that little but you know, thing or like I said, it was, was a nice. It wasn't holding. Shoot, I got more support. <laughs> I got more support on right now. Than... But uh, you know, it it was a nice, it was a nice Easter pageant. You know, Sunday school chorale type of performance. You know, that one they got. That's all it gave me. <clears throat> How now? I seem like what was it? Jay-Z introduced and launched this girl, what, yeah. maybe 10 years ago? Oh, probably way more than that. I seem like I remember him when he was pu first pushing her. Yeah. What was it, Umbrella? Yeah, Umbrella, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, so, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how... How did she get so huge and so, you know, just like so big? Because they say that yeah. girl is a billionaire. Yeah, because Umbrella came out in 07. So that's 16 years, 15, 16 years ago. So say she's been out a while. Right. Yeah. But I remember when he first came out and he was pushing her. Because I, I was trying to figure out, like, how is his wife, you know, letting him do this and really have this, you know, 
I don't know. I mean, their whole situation business. has been strange. It's business, and and you know, I understand it. She should have brought out Chris Brown to really break the Super Bowl. You know that. That's what but ASAP do. wasn't going to handle. I know it. he probably wouldn't like that. But, let but me tell do, you. do you know that that probably that would have been so edgy and so shy. Now, or that either him, even if she had brought Drake. Yeah, yeah, she should have at least brought Drake. That would have been a safe. <laughs> that would yeah. that would have been. Yeah. But I mean, it was just it was awful. And anybody and see, I hate folks that be lying just you know i don't know why i have off days yeah, and yeah, off nights yeah. y'all like me but sometimes i may just not be all the way there you know you that don't mean that you don't like to me. acknowledge that you know but but, it, but but people they feel like if i like you I've got to like you when all you're the in time. error when you yeah. not no so that was that that was <laughs> That mm -mm. you know. Mm -mm. Well, did you I, no. did you enjoy Cheryl Lee kicking it no. off? <laughs> no. Lift every voice. <laughs> it was so RuPaul. I told him it was so RuPaul. It was so yeah, drag RuPaul, race. But... I couldn't even, you know. And that's Broadway people. Like, have yeah. you noticed? Like Broadway, yeah. they're just yeah. over the top. You yeah. know that whole. Her and I love Cheryl Lee Ralph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really do. But everything does not have to be, you know, over enunciated. And, you know, just <laughs> like, oh, girl. You, you know, please girl. calm down. And dream so, girls, know. dream yes. girls. <laughs> you hear? I mean, just okay. Let's just really be. But that's that Broadway feel, like that live stage. You have yeah. to be yeah, yeah. over. But you know, you, over. You know the what? She sat in the background for so many years. This is her time. Yes. This is, and we're so, time. and for that we are so glad. And for that we give you praise. <laughs> yes, we're 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 most appreciative. Yeah, but I know now. I would have. See, I would have liked to see. <laughs> I wanted to see Fantasia no. speaking in tongues <laughs> and, and, and hollering and crying and sweating over. You know, I want somebody. And I think you said like last night, like Jasmine Sullivan. That would have been. Excellent. Oh, now Jasmine could have sang it. Yeah, Jasmine, that would have been. Excellent. See, like for that, you needed somebody bad that can just flat foot yeah. sing. Yeah. You know, just I mean, just belt it out. Yeah, I'm Just, glad yeah. I heard you last night saying all that choir stuff. Somebody was saying a choir. We don't need no. Put leave that in its place. Ooh. <laughs> they said, oh, somebody said some fool or somebody crazy or special <laughs> needs <laughs> saying I don't want to ever. Now I, you know, I'm can't nobody get to be no more of a church boy than me. Yeah. But I don't ever want to see no gospel halftime show. No, me neither. Mm -mm. No, I'm so not interested. Like I would, I would just die and be ready, be ready to go to hell if uh, they ever gave it to Kirk Franklin. Like I would, that be oh my god! I would just be, I would just in say, Maverick oh, City. Oh my god! I just throw the whole Super Bowl away. <laughs> Who would, first of all, it's not going to ever happen because it ain't that many folks that's Christian, period. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're yeah. going to just, like, totally have millions of people not interested because they're not going to be saying be like, nothing about Jesus. Who is that, dear? Who, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> you know, I was surprised. I was surprised last year that they, you know, that they had that many Black folks up there on that stage. Well, that, was a, good, now, that was a good show. That was a good show. So, but you know, we still had to have our token white boy. Oh yeah, Eminem. Yeah, M &M. But yeah. no, that was that was, you know, that was good. I'm trying to think of who else would, who else would be like a bomb halftime. Now I think what you call could do it. Everybody's been saying Usher on um, that on Facebook would have been a good show. Usher, uh, Usher because he would bring out some other folk. 
But, but you know like, who I want to see? I would have wanted to see. I love that Harry Styles. Yes. Yeah. He's good. Harry He's is good. good. He's good. Yeah. He's good in his costume. Yeah. I mean, he just gives me just <laughs> full theatric. I just... Did you but see that? Funny? Did you see that black suit with that flower yes. over? Oh my gosh! But you know what? Isn't I it need so that. Cool? I need that full outfit for official day. For well, official day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> I need that, and I need that black, uh, that black long uh, gown that uh, that uh, that Billy Porter wore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what, though? Isn't it funny how black, white, they will accept a Harry Styles. Totally accept him. Oh, he's just tapping into his femininity. He said, but let you or some other black person do it. Oh, he gay. He dead. He dead. We they they so but, they but see there. they're so open and we're not. Yeah. See, we're we're our whole mentality, and then they understand artistry, right? Right, a little right, right, bit right. more than I think what than what we do. Like we don't really, you know, we but we've been so messed up. Okay, so the boy and the, and the what's that, what, what? Why didn't that camisole leak <laughs> flat on his chest? Why did it have that that roll? Ooh, that was horrible. That was for his titties to be. Uh, I don't know. He made it. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what it was. Maybe they just they were too big for yeah. it to lay down. He needed hit a good bra. Yeah. Yeah. That he needed horrible. a good long. He needed a good long line bra. <laughs> <laughs> that was so uh, Easter twenty. It was so cheap. It was so <laughs> that the <laughs> scene. That's the thing that made it so horrible. It was cheap. <laughs> and it had that little clamp, mm -hmm. that little hook and eye. Oh, it was who made it? It was so it was so who, K and G. Who made it? <laughs> it was so that same man making them uh Karen suits. <laughs> Whoever y'all think. <laughs> Whoever y'all said that he man was. He just everybody out. Oh. <laughs> I mean, now you know, mm -hmm. what's his name ain't even a dresser. Who that? Now you know it was bad. If 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 Ricky uh, Smiley, who's not a dresser. Right, right, right. He start not. critiquing you on what you wear. Because yeah. see, his... That suit looked like he got up out the, uh, like he was a, a unmade bed. Like he just rolled out of the bed and <laughs> had that black suit on. It was so. Did you see how wrinkled it was? But I just I, I, him, I gave him the pass because that boy had died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his nerve. Did the boy? Did the boy OD or did he commit suicide? Which one was? I, I think it was an OD. I think I don't know if it was fentanyl. I don't know if it was, but I believe it was. Something along that line. But was it that? Did he do suicide and that's what he committed suicide? What he to chose do? to do. Because Odin is kind of a form of. Yeah. I well, don't know. I think Ricky should go on and tell right, us. Right. Right. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you that, think? I, just, I don't know what I was trying to figure out with that. I don't, I don't know. I was trying to understand and see then he was so unkept. Yeah. Like he was so, you know, like his suit was given woman and then he was just like. <laughs> yeah, it was nothing about his appearance. Like he really, I mean, okay, well, press your hair <laughs> or at least look like you have shaved. You know what I'm saying? Give it, you know, if you're going to give it, just go to give us the full drama. Just going to give us the full. And then that shoe, those tennis shoes are so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, now I like, I'm going to tell you this. Dude took a risk. He, he did take a risk.
Now he, I, 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 now I got to give him. He had balls. Yes, he for did. That, Cause yeah. he came, he came out there and he did something totally different. Now it didn't work. It for didn't him. work. It didn't. It, it failed. Work. It failed. We got to go back to the drawing board. But see, I wanted to see somebody come out. Do you? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Muck. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> But I want to see. Did you see that bad silver that Harry Styles had on that that he performed in at the Grammys? I I I seen that. Yeah, yeah. That was I mean, uh, um that designer. They said it was who was that designer? They said it was. I, well, I forgot. I, it, I, it wasn't Alexander McQueen. Um, but I don't I don't even know who's dressing him. But whoever it is, I can't take right. Him. Because right. they have him all the way right every time. Every time. It ain't no miss. He's yeah. all hit. He's all... Uh -uh. Let me see. That boy is see bad. See if it comes up. I can... Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And my, my back of phone is dead. Yeah. I, um, what else did What do you think do? about um, this show coming out, Grown and Gospel? Tasha Lockhart and Dorinda's daughter, Fred Hammond's daughter, some other folks. <laughs> I did, wasn't you the one that said Tasha cheated on her husband? Mm -hmm. See, and see, and she's saying it now on the show, I guess. But see, she wasn't saying it then; mm -mm. she was denying it. Mm -hmm. but, but you had said it. I called that thing out, and uh -huh. then she tried to make Bernard or Vernon or whatever his name is appear to be, he you was know, gay. so long and so bad. And yeah, he was, he they always go there. They always go there. No, he just don't want your ass. He don't want you. That, that's <laughs> how, um, I uh, mm. I don't know, man. I, I mm -mm. see the 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 thing that makes it. It we have a lot of hidden. The pro, the part that's gonna be problematic is it's only two ways to do reality TV in church. Mm -hmm. Either you're gonna really give us the behind the scenes. Um, and the the stuff that we would consider and feel to be detrimental right. to let people know and to be out. Either you're going to really let that part be seen or you're going to be skating around and right. tiptoeing and it's just not going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and mm. the other other part is any of them really interesting? I didn't come across one that was. I I, I, I think they're going to try to build it up, but I never was concerned about any of them, not even Tasha, because Tasha, I felt that she was always trying to be like her mother, performance wise. You know, and she I don't mm. think she can measure up. She never. I got you. Her own. Identity isn't exciting to me on a stage like her, her mother's is. And I felt she was always trying to, you know, measure up to that. And I don't know if she's, I don't know if she's found her, her identity yet. She hasn't found her niche. No, I don't think she has. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. And then how many kids has she had? I don't know. The boy. I don't know if she has any more. Does she have more? I thought she had like two or three. No, but she doesn't. Know. But, oh, okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> it, <clears throat> mm -mm. I just. They need to have carry on on there. <laughs> oh, that mental illness. 
<laughs> Mm-mm. His daddy must be I'm, really taking care of him. No, I'm going to tell you who they needed to have on there. Who? Daryl. Walls? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, that would have taken it. That would have risen the bar. If him and that boy would have been kissing on that show. See, that would have woke the Saints out. Sounds, you know what? We may be giving away some free uh, stuff hey, here tonight. Advice. But yeah because mm -hmm. <laughs> him and i'm gonna tell you the other boy what's the boy from um from dc that likes to uh perform oral sex on me kevin terry uh-huh kevin terry is hilarious you follow him mm -mm. His, his humor is mm -mm. i'm funny. so not i'm so not interested <laughs> <laughs> no <clears throat> i would not follow him for two seconds across the there street. Are walls Kevin Terry. Now that's who they should have did. They should have did all the DL and all the download boys. They should have put uh, Tone. Mm hmm. Tone. Yeah. Daryl Walls. Kevin. Uh, Kevin Terry. Mm hmm. Uh, um, who else has had? Uh, I would even. Um, who else has had an encounter? Um, that would be a good show right right that would be a bad boys for the church <laughs> bad boys of the church <laughs> uh i'm trying to think of who else didn't had a um who else didn't had an encounter mm. and then you just throw carry on on there because he said he's bisexual mm-hmm Mm. Are one of any of these alternative pastors? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. O.C. Allen, oh. <laughs> Tom Anderson. <laughs> Who is that? I mean, what Anderson? Is it Tom? Right. They just yeah. got out of jail. Yeah. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Somebody like that. No. Somebody like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. Any, any of them alternatives, though. Yeah. Mm hmm. Would have been nice. Oh well. Because I don't Wish think this thinking. is gonna give us what we want. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think this is. Good. I don't think this will give us what we want. That got grown in gospel shell with those I'm, guys. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm just sick of reality TV. Yeah. Period. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I want you to get. I want you to go back to giving us old school, um, uh, you know, scripted yeah. sitcoms. Yeah, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Okay. And maybe it's real. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just because even now they got this new thing like. Now they got all these old hoes trying to find. Like I'm so sick of Evelyn. Like Evelyn's <laughs> like I want you to go sit down. And First just like all, that you... show you were gonna talk. Did you talk about last night with Tamar and all them Queen mm -mm. Court, Queen yeah. or whatever? And they, they trying, trying to, to get a man. man. And you know that Queen's Court was T. S. Madison. She talked about that. Oh, did she, she mention it? She did, and because see, she was copied. She had copyrighted that, and Kaya gave her such hell and said she was stealing it from her, and she let it go. Mm. Now, now Peacock got it, <laughs> and they ran with it. And she said, "Whatever. I tried. I tried to help you, and you was trying to hurt me behind it." But you know what? That is a key part to that whole Larry Reed situation. Because whatever negative spirit that he sowed, it destroyed their operation. And Kaya was so adamant that she did not like him mm -hmm. and didn't mm -hmm. want, want to deal with him and until she got up and left out. And right. you know their whole situation just and just after that dissipated. it was over. It was over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and um, 
and you know, people like T.S. Madison, but she's not the way the way that Kaya could read and her recall yeah. and how quick and how <clears throat> she's like me. You know, you just got you. That's just a gift. You got to be it's able to hone in and just go yeah. right then yeah. and just be able to, you know, <laughs> You a gorilla monkey dog, <laughs> you know, looking hard. <laughs> you know, we're so mad that your grandma doo-dooed your mama out that we got to be responsible for you. I mean, you just got to be able to roll. Got to be and quick. Kaya can do, and Kaya can do it she even, can. even to, even beyond what T.S. can. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But T.S. And so, watered herself down so much that because of networks that she won't even have say anything, you know, controversial anymore. Really? Yeah, she's kind of put herself into that safe, safe alley. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. she's getting a lot I of thought, I see, I thought she was too raunch. Well, she's, if, if you, she scaled back. She has definitely scaled back than what she used to, used to do. Because she's getting mm. more more bookings and being a little bit more visible, and she's doing movies, and you know they look at all your social media, they look at your Instagram, they look at your YouTube's, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. So she's watered. But see, all that cussing and mfing and all of yeah. that, I don't, you know, yeah. I just, I mean, like you can't outside of being in a smoky nightclub. Club. You can't really market that. You you can't, and it gets tired and old. I, so there's a, a blogger that's always on there cussing it. Give me cash apps and I'll cuss. What boy? Shut up. Mm mm. Jeez. You get some talent. Yeah, and and you know, but I you know, I don't know. I don't. I mean, you know, with with T S, it, it it's um. It's a hit and miss for me. Now mm -hmm. I like I I uh what my comparison would be this. I don't like when she does anything planned or scripted. Her show on you on Fox Soul mm -hmm. was horrible. Mm. See, I like I like when she does like what I'm doing right now, right in the house and just go live. Yeah, and. You mm -hmm. know, just talking this. Like one of her lives I was watching went almost four hours, and the yeah. people they'd be there. They was watching, and yeah. she watched TV, and she was just raising hell about this or raising hell about that or whatever. And that was good. But far as like when she's sitting with that microphone trying to do like a podcast or whatever, I just don't think any of her. Um, any of her scripted things is 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 uh, to me it's just not as good. Yeah, you're right. Mm -mm. You're right. Mm -mm. No, and and then um, even if she's the lead, she still needs somebody. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She doesn't think so, but we do. Mm. <laughs> yeah because even now she has her sidekick who's a producer who kind of sits there and runs her show on YouTube while she's mm -hmm. just shooting the shit you know and and he's a he's a straight guy you know so they they kind of banter off that you know with him being a straight guy Nigerian and he, he laughs you know, he's the background laughter. But wasn't it somebody named Craig that was yeah? He there doesn't that do it anymore. To be a author or yeah, something Craig like that. The writer. I thought... Yeah, that's I... Craig. Craig the writer Stewart. He used to do be her showrunner. And he's not after anymore. you know that after they had that um, reality show, he kind of just kind of started doing his own thing. But even after the reality show, she got more bookings. So she mm. wasn't working with him as much. She would be on the road and doing movies and such. So she just worked with this one guy that... You keep running. saying movies. They did that one movie. 
She did a few movies. She did um, that flop, that Brothers, The Bros. Now, that was a flop. She did that recently. That's the only movie I and know. Then she did, no, that one movie that I, I just saw, it's called, um, oh, man, I forget what it's called. Was she in B-Boy Blues? No. no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It was mm -hmm. another movie. She played like a stripper like a strip club owner or something, a strip club club owner or something like that. It was on. Like, the, it was in the regular movies, and then I had seen it. It's on like Showtime or somewhere. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know about. Oh. Yeah. And she was on the Miss Pat show. She had a cameo on the Miss Pat show. Who's that? You know Miss Pat? Pat. She's that comedian. Her show is on. Is it BT Plus? Yeah, she's a comedian. Miss Pat. Mm. No. Yeah. No, I I'm I'm so not interested. <laughs> I don't I just didn't even I mean, like, I don't know. Um is she's good, but it's just like it's something that um mm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now I would think I would be I now I think she would be you know somebody like her would be great for a morning show like a a radio show you know yeah, or, yeah. Or, or or something they should, you know you know how they're testing people out for the breakfast club like this week they have um uh, uh Charlemagne is too Charlemagne is is He's too closeted. He has it, Flame Monroe on there all the time. And she's going to be a, a guest maybe next week. Yeah, but that's a man. I mean, that's a woman. Well, yeah. Well, T.S. is a man and Flame Monroe is a man. Flame Monroe know. is a man. Oh, he's a trans? He don't really call himself a trans because... He sleeps with women, but dresses as a woman. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's non-binary. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So he, he mm. and, and Flame does the uh, Breakfast Club all the time. So, so I think they should have let, T and TS has done the Breakfast Club, I think, once. But um, they're doing guests, you know, because Angela Yee is gone. Right. So they're doing guest um, hosts. Ray J's a hoot. He was a hoot on there. He definitely was a hoot on there. But then, yeah, uh, but he's not. See, you gotta to... also have somebody that's halfway well read. Because <laughs> he's definitely not that. And TS yeah, because I that. mean, sometimes I wonder if, J if J Ray J even finished high school. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm -mm. He still wears black underwear because he got boo boo streaks. So and that's what that girl Gorilla said too. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that horrible? Like, it's, who even says who even says anything filthy like that out loud? Nasty. Yeah, just what ooh. Earl, Earl say nasty. Oh, please don't tell me. <laughs> I, and, and he's so oh, he's so trashy and ugly. <laughs> but I don't even I don't know. I mean, motor oil. motor oil. <laughs> Mm -mm. Black is the ace of spade. I can't take. It. <laughs> I don't. I just. I don't know. But but see, you got to have. I don't. Mm -mm. See somebody like that. That that. But but that would that would have been. I don't know. Kaya was just perfect, and they were good together. Like somebody said, they loved her with Kaya. She was good. Them together were good. They were good. That, they they had built something, and it was hot. And and, and I don't know what Larry did, hmm. but whatever it was, it destroyed that situation. And that was a good. I mean, it was to the point where their taping or their going live had become. Um, an event yeah you know what i mean like mm -hmm. they were coming over people were 
I don't know if they were paying to come to her house, but you know, I mean, it was yeah, they had um, a whole audience catering and yeah. stuff like that. Like it, it, it became a full situation, and uh, I mean, and then Kaya's recall and the way that she could just masterfully read, you know, yeah, and I, and and then just keep rolling it off. Like, oh, that moment she was talking about uh, uh, Santana. And I mean, she just, <laughs> and, 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 and you know, she wasn't even breathing. She was just kept going and going and going and going. And it was like, okay, when you gonna stop and take a breath? <laughs> and oh, the way she was talking about how big and ugly and bad bone and, you know, just, just hideous that he was. And, <laughs> and you know the back truck sitting on the back of his neck. And he went, <laughs> and a, Did you ever hear their song, Kaya and Tia's song? I thought they had to stop it because they fell it's out, still, right? Still on, it's still on streaming. Oh really? Yeah. I have not. No. And then she was on Beyonce's song, wasn't she? Her, yeah. On her album, she was on um uh. That yeah. song, that one where she got all the drag queens, because she got uh, uh, the what's the man, the boy that went to prison for uh, welfare fraud. Which one? The uh, what's the man out of New Orleans? He's uh, androgynous or whatever. As oh well. yeah, uh, 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 um, Miss Frida. Yeah, Frida. Um, her song on Beyonce was Cozy. That's what T.S. was on, Cozy. Oh, do you think Beyonce is paying yeah. her for that? Yes. That, every time that thing plays, that girl gets a check. Big oh. Frida, too. Shut Every up. time it plays, that uh, T.S. Oh, gets I just, I, you know, you just need a couple <laughs> of seconds. <laughs> That's all you need. And all she doing is talking. She ain't singing. Yeah, because she can't sing. Yeah. And what is uh, all of a sudden Beyonce just loves homosexuals? Though. Well, and that's because that daughter's a little lesbian. That, the LBG, LBG, whatever, TQ, whatever, is profitable. A, B, C, D, e, F, yeah, it, 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 it's profitable. And yeah, and, and they go her hard. Uncle was gay, and she dedicated the album to the uncle. But we all know what the real deal is. The gays like you. They will stream your your music all over the world. Oh, that's what. And that cuff it. That is it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can't do the little <laughs> dance. I be well to do the, the little dance, but comfortable yeah. in my skin. Dun, 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 dun. That's the one that TS is on. Oh really? Mm hmm. I I'm gonna just yeah, I'm gonna just tell you. I can never, I will never be able to get the image out of my mind of when my sister sent me that demo and this person <laughs> with these huge titties <laughs> opened up the door with their penis swinging like a pendulum. <laughs> Talking about new weave. New weave. <laughs> new weave. Nine, 21 inches. New weave. <laughs> I will. On Vine. On Vine. That's what it was on. On Vine. She will always be that yeah. person. <laughs> <laughs> that is forever. <clears throat> and she that still is forever. Says she's making money off of her website. Big D dot com something big something blah, 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 blah. oh so she still is presently doing pornography no she's not but her old videos are still making money for her on the website and you know she don't dress like nothing but that house is fabulous that house Just and and the tell you in a minute she'll buy a five dollar stretch dress in a minute she she. She but not in that house. That. Like she has, to my understanding, those are real oil paintings mm -hmm. that she mm -hmm. has in there, and the and yeah, the house are. and the decor 
it's way out in Conyers. Yeah. But the decor is absolutely from what you can see mm -hmm. is is you know well and then i we shared a cameraman and you know he was slipping and taking pictures and was like and i said wait a minute i said some of this this is real yeah. and uh and then some of the paintings, I was like, okay, because I used to deal with the uh, art gallery. I was like, wait a minute, this is an original. Mm -hmm, this had mm -hmm. to be no less than twenty five or thirty thousand dollars. So, you know, it's it it. She yeah. does talk about how she has items in her house, and you know, she's buying about to buy a, another house, a bigger house. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's, you know, well, more power to <laughs> I would, you know, I didn't know that she knew who I was. Mm. We were at a, at a function and she spoke to me and I was like, <laughs> oh my word or whatever. And, uh, and we talked for a, a while, um, but somebody had, you know, people always try to like pit, you know. Yeah. Like folks against, against each, each other, each other. Mm -hmm. yeah and I was and because she said well I, didn't you say something or something like that or what have you and I said no I said I just you know I may have made reference that I don't necessarily understand the whole because you know back in the day with Sylvester those was just drag queens right. you know right. now you got this we, whole thing about got five to 50 being million pronouns yeah, and you being trans. What is yeah. trans? You know what I mean? And so that would have been the only thing. But uh, she said that she was going to do an interview or have me sit in when she was doing um, the show. But, you know, mm -hmm. again, it just, you know, it never, none of that ever went any. That never went been anywhere. Interesting. You and I, yeah. I, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I think so because, <clears throat> uh, you know, it it would we would have. I I think I would have been the only person, and I'm not saying it's just to toot my horn, mm -hmm. but I think that I would have been the only person that would have been able to give or come close to that whole Kaya feel. Right, you know that 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 would have been able to, because Joe he was on there, but he talks too slow. Yeah, nah. Joe, you know, who? Joe, uh, what is Joe's uh, woman name? Uh, oh, you're uh, talking about uh, Miss Sophia. Sophia, yeah, but Miss Sophia, funny. Now when Miss Sophia do, is funny, yeah, but her, but but she's slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's slow, and that takes. See, that was energy. Mm -hmm. You know, you had mm -hmm. to, you you know, you had to go in and be and be ready to roll. Yeah, yeah. You you know, and you had to be able, you know, you had to be able, you 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 just got to be a read master the way that they set it mm -hmm. up, you know, mm -hmm. and um and so just none of them nobody that I ever saw ever came remotely close to to that synergy that they had no and they tried like I think Craig said that he said they tried to let it go after you know go on after he said it never hit what Kai and TS did together mm -mm. <laughs> mm. no they <laughs> never ne they ne she never found even when she was doing the guest hosting and stuff. Yeah. She never, uh, it. She never found anybody that could remotely, you know. They just had something that worked, and they, you know, unfortunately, they let the enemy come in and yeah. destroy it, you know. Mm -hmm. And Kaya, uh, you know, she's like me. She stands firm on her convictions, and that was it. But you I know, think Kai she... is her worst enemy, though. I think she's blocked a lot of things for herself. I think she could have been bigger than what she is. Yeah, but, but you know, at the... Okay, but at what cost? Like, you know, the, the, the is, is at the end of the day, is 
and and you know i know money is important but at the end of the day you know you still got to you got to look yourself in the mirror you got to yeah be pleased and comfortable with who you are now i think another thing that was a pro that was problematic i think it was a problem for Kaya to make those disparaging remarks that she made about gay folks and yeah. then to be on um, because T.S. gave her a platform again. Right. She or, did. You know, just kind of resurrected mm. her because mm. we wasn't even looking or I mean, you wasn't not not that she wasn't performing because she says she always performed and she always we didn't know. doing these clothes. No, <laughs> you know. I would you I would see her occasionally in that minivan. My neck, my back. Well, you know, she had a little minivan that she drives around here in Atlanta. <laughs> that looked like it had looked like it had newspaper on or the something inside. That like she had just, <laughs> you know, paper mache. Yes. <laughs> her her flyers on it, you know. It's, uh, um ooh. I, I'm trying to figure out, have we disturbed these folks from trying to have their Valentine's I, Day sex? No. Well, if they're not, they not ooching and cooching now, then they ain't got one either. They ain't got nobody. <laughs> they got to go on. <laughs> they, me, myself, and I, you got to go on. <laughs> well, Valentine's, you, go on you know, they, just... some people got to start early because they got about three or four. So they got to put them in Old different time <laughs> You know, but the thing about it is, is, is what do, what do those people that do have side pieces, how do they handle that? I guess they had to do theirs either earlier, like you say, space it out or the, or the next day. Or yesterday and then tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I remember. It didn't so seem that. to be as a big of a deal this year as it has been in past times. I, I, yeah, I, you know, I went over to my mother's and I brought, you know, I took her. Gave dinner. her flowers and stuff. And I brought dinner over and, you know, we ate dinner and my daughter. Oh, that's nice. Over, but her mom cooked, so she was at her mom's. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, so someone says that the side piece is always the day before. Yeah, or the day after. <laughs> day after. <laughs> why don't y'all just go on and everybody get in the bed together? Right. I don't understand why you gotta have. Yeah, because I'm sure y'all know about each other. Yeah, you know. And then I'm just, and then somebody's supposed to act like they got a side piece and stuff. Do you really have that much stamina right. and energy? Right. right. Stop lying. <laughs> you ain't got no. Your side piece is your hand, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you jacking off, please. How about your side piece? Oh, go to do hell. You know, Olga, do you know they on my YouTube wear me out? I have posted about Michelle Williams talking about Beyonce, that Tiffany Montgomery stuff. They are wearing me out over there on my YouTube. <laughs> so so what, I they love that. Tiffany. Oh, people like, like her? Oh, they love her. They love her. She's like the best. She's a true prophet of God. Please. <laughs> I mean, Please. they write the whole dissertations in my comments, and I just be like, oh, "Get your own, get your own." Pain. First of all, first of all, it, it, it for any for, uh, oh, where do I begin? <laughs> this girl is standing up with her whole arms out. Yeah, with a tattoo, with a ta big tattoo, tattoo, talking about Beyonce. And she got saved in the shower in 2015. You, she had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> she had a nervous right. breakdown in the shower. Yes. And first of all, anybody, where, who, where was she preaching at? And why was she on that kind <laughs> of a platform? I have and no idea. And she's only been saved 15 right. minutes. Right, right. But you know what? These people crave a word from the Lord through these so-called prophets. They and I was really, I'm, I'm so over it. They are all saying the same lie. It's going to get better tomorrow. It's going to get better tomorrow. It's mm -hmm. going, I mean, and everybody <laughs> is saying that. Or well, it's when damnation, is, when is though. Or it's damnation. 
you're you're gonna burn in hell and and if like she said if you go to did she to say church, that because michelle said that she was saying something about people was gonna die yes did she, she say that watch them watch them they're gonna drop dead you know they're always real rough and tough <laughs> that's what she said and they be wanting to weaponize God, like they, he's yeah. like yeah, yeah, like he's the the biggie man. Yeah, and you yeah. know, like how that, that that's how they used to always do me. Like, oh, okay, God gonna kill you. Yeah, he gonna for kill talking about you a for no talking. Good preacher. Yeah. yeah, he ain't gonna kill the person that's running around no. planting bastard babies no, he, and women all he over. He gonna the be country. out free having more babies. Uh huh, and having more babies. <laughs> but he gonna kill me for saying so. Oh, touch not my nothing. Oh, please. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll meet you in hell. I'll meet oh, you in hell. Yeah, I will really get because you're going you to beat me getting there. No, I, I, that, I mean, that was, that Center. was so ridiculous to me. It is. And she even has on her Instagram, her, her bio, any Christians that go to the Beyonce concert. Or, I'm like, girl, go somewhere. And, but you know what? She's, it's apparent because she's telling her people, to post it on Larry's comments. It's like she's getting clout off of it. She's loving it. She's a devil. No. What it is is that she is desperate and 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 wants to uh be elevated yes. some kind of way. And the the problem with that is they are going to be ready and waiting the moment her foot nice slips. Ooh, soon as it slips, soon as it just turns a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, they, it's over. The way they gonna the way they gonna wear her out, they gonna ride her. Like it like, no. I like mean that but it's, boy. And it's so much more stuff to be yeah. talking about and be concerned about than going to a Beyonce concert. Like, let's talk about police brutality. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about God ain't give you a word stuff. for that. Yeah, some, some stuff that matters. You know, mm -hmm. if a per person wanna go to a concert or or, or go and in and and enjoy themselves then you know well, so be it. in 2014 you know the, the internet it never fails it pulled up her in her twitters and she was praising jay-z and beyonce and yeah because she had gone to a concert she had gone to the and concert. then she pulled the juanita bynum and yeah. said well that was before <laughs> that was before i was in the shower and i got saved that was before you was in the shower and you had a complete and total nervous breakdown. <laughs> and you, <laughs> you lost your mind. <laughs> and now you, uh, uh, no. I, 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 it's unbelievable to me. And I, 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 I it, and everybody, I'm the <laughs> St. James Show on YouTube. Go there under Michelle uh, uh, Williams' video and they all there. And some of them I delete, some of them I just keep up. You keep on talk talking and keep on putting stuff. This ain't your platform. You go start you a page to put all this mess on. But and, and then I'm trying to figure out why. Like poor Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Cause Kelly Rowland ain't said nothing. <laughs> and she ain't said nothing. And why do you feel, you know, like why I don't I don't get us jumping into stuff and yeah. interjecting ourselves into stuff to try to, you know, create because I, I I mean and Michelle really didn't say all that much either. She didn't say much. And, and but that but that you know that group ain't never been the same since they you know they got rid of that other girl and Tasha Luckett. Yeah. Now that was the real the when they were five. Right, right. That right. was when they were the real the, the Destiny's child. But you know and they just ain't Beyonce's daddy wasn't having nobody up up, you know, being and up you against see where her. they got him. Mm -hmm. He well. ain't, he wasn't having nobody and he ain't with nobody and right he... now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, let's be clear. So uh, you know, I, 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 no, that, that lady really, you know, and, and, and all of that is just so, it's so not important, you know, is it, it, in the grand scheme of things, 
is so many other things that could be preached about and that's important right. and that right. matters than somebody going to a Beyonce concert. Now, I'll be frank with you. I would have a problem with, say, a pastor or, you know, an evangelist of note. I might would, you know, kind of take a side eye mm. if they were mm. to go. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. You know, but then it also depends on who it is because, you know, the and I, I mean, I yeah, I don't know that, but that would that would have been kind of something difficult, but mm-hmm. no, nah, no. Nah. So you need to go on and just continue to wear out. But I was just like, and then she was so mad about it. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's what I hate about it. And it's like all these so-called prophets and prophetesses. They be so angry, thus says the Lord. It was God or Jesus. Jesus ever that angry talking to people? It's crazy. But I think that that drama, I think that that level of drama is what gets them that, you know, they feel, we feel. And see, Black people, we're so used and, and, and to abuse that, you know, we feel that. Yeah. That's what's needed, right? And we and we so quick to, you know, clap mm-hmm. and amen mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. just you know sanction anything until it's over. I want to ask you: Have you seen Fer- Have you seen Jonathan Ferguson lately? No. He's got a clip that's rolling on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook or whatever now. First of all, I thought he was really skinny like a rail. Mm-hmm. He's on there with some tight fitted jeans on, <laughs> looking like uh, Joe's, uh, looking like Joe Tugman. <coughs> Let me see what's going on with him. Mm. Mm. I don't know, but it, it's I'm on his Instagram. Well. So he's got a clip where he waves his hand and the whole folks is going out and he's got some jeans that's so tight he had to lay down to put them on. Mm, I think this is the one. Let me see. Mm. He got a hoodie on. Um, oh, right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Let me see. Let me see again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody wearing no loose fitting clothes no more, boy. But still, but I'm trying to figure out why they. Like, but where did he? Where did he develop all of that from? But like uh, that, because you know he used to be when he was with Brian Carn, he was skinny like a little rail. No, not anymore. Mm-mm. Not anymore. Mm-mm. You think he had some work? Well, him and Manasseh going to the now, same doctor. Now Manasseh done had a lot of work. Yeah, he needs to stop. He needs to stop. He really does. Because he's really giving that Joan Rivers kind yeah, of Yeah, and he's, he's looking a little bit too feminine. It's like he's transforming <laughs> before our very eyes. <laughs> right, he is. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's giving me androgyny. Yeah, very much so. But it's more... Like he's looking more and more pretty, you know. It's not like a handsome man. But it's fake. But no. But it's it's. But it's false. It's, yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not real. It look. You can tell. See, I, the when you have good work done, it don't look like you, you have. You shouldn't work. be able to say, "Oh, they have some work done." Yeah, but he's he's looking. <laughs> he's looking Joan Rivers. Joan River ish. But I. See him and his daddy. They hooking up together. They getting it's, this money together now. It's, a, it, it's money. Yep, they getting this money together it's, now. It, it, it is a money situation. And at the end of the day, that's the main thing and the reason. Yeah. And neither one of them are doing it and pulling it as well alone. Right. It, it, it's like now they need each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> Get it built. He back needs up. his audience. He needs, you know, so because Manasseh is not with Benny Hinn any, anymore, right? 
Well, who's with who cares about what Benny Hinn said? Alleluia. <laughs> His whole situation just came to a screeching halt. And that because you know he was supposed to have been in prison. Really? Mm. Yeah, but you remember the uh well, I, the post office and the, his yeah. house and everything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I tell you. It's just too much. It's it's it, it is too it is. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm serious. I don't I just don't even know. I don't know what to say about it. I don't mm. know what to say. I but I guess so. We didn't hit everything now. I, yeah. <clears throat> was it anything? Oh, what was what is Black China Mama crying about? Saying that they go get. <laughs> what did Black China have on at them Grammys? I feel so sorry for her. She looked horrible. She looked horrible. Black China said uh, she looked. It said looked like Halloween. Has her daughter's mind. It looked like looked Halloween. Mind. But first of all, she looks horrible. Yes, she did. What I mean, but what kind of work has she had done on herself? She, I, I mean, I, it ain't oh. Beverly Hills. It ain't Miami work. She it's, didn't. That's Alabama. Need that. I mean, she really. That girl messed herself up. Yeah, yeah. But you know, they're chasing that fame. And they think they got. We haven't heard room. anything from Rob since he got since they had that baby. I know. I ain't heard anything. Uh uh. Mm. He had lost weight. Oh, did he? He had he probably had gastro. It back. Mm. Dealing with her because ain't nobody seen him lately. So. Oh, he might well when you know when they disappear like that, he might have been in rehab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, All right, know. Reverend. Yeah, I better get off of here. I gotta work in the morning. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go on and let you. All right, you know everybody. You got somebody have a good coming night. in that Happy back Valentine's door. Valentine's Day. And all of that. All right, sir. Bye. Okay. <laughs>